Hey everybody, welcome back to Why Not RV. On this week's episode, we're gonna clean these air conditioners. Remember, if you wanna learn more and make less mistakes while RVing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below because that's what this channel is all about. If you watched my episode from a few weeks ago, you saw that I put the Microair Easy Start 364 on uh, the back air conditioner here that's over the living room. And when I took that thing apart, man, it was dirty. So I decided I needed to go ahead and order some cleaner for the coils, and I'm just gonna go ahead and clean both of them and kind of show you guys what that process looks like. First things first, you need either a drill or a screwdriver to take the screws out of your cover. You're gonna need some type of evaporator coil cleaner. I prefer this stuff because there's no rinse required. And then you're also gonna need a coil cleaning brush. I'm gonna put a link to both of these uh, on Amazon where I got them from, pretty good price. And uh, the other thing you might want is a nut driver or a crescent wrench. You'll see when we take this off that there's little uh, hex head screws that you gotta get out. And uh, lastly is you might wanna vacuum because depending on how dirty the coil is, you could have a lot of debris on the coil. Stay tuned to the end because I ended up taking the fan apart and uh, we'll show you how it's done. Go ahead and take the cover off and get everything exposed. a lot of screws that's why I like having um, I use my impact driver but any screw gun is going to be better than just hand loosening and tightening those things uh, there's there's a lot of them on on my cover every every AC is a little bit different So you can see how much debris I got like, looks like styrofoam all over this thing. I don't even know where that came from. But uh, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have uh, Erica pass me up the vacuum so I can go ahead and vacuum off the main debris. When you're doing that, you wanna be extra careful to not bend or mess with the fins. You really just wanna get the debris off of it and that's it. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take my no rinse coil cleaner and I'm gonna do a light coating of it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my brush and I'm gonna go ahead and clean off these coils and I'm gonna use a vacuum to collect all the debris. Now that's all done, I'm gonna do one more really, really thick coat of this, and then it does say that you can rinse it off with water, or you can just let the condensation rinse it off. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a nice thick coat on it and just let it soak on there, and uh, turn the ACs on a little bit. Thank you. I had Erica go ahead and pass me up some paper towels and Clorox Lysol wipes type stuff just to go and wipe down all the walls and surface areas in there, the cables, everything I could to try and get it as clean as possible. Then I did one more layer of foam. You can see how much dirt and mold and grit that this thing just, as it foams, it just pulls out all the nasty stuff. So to me, it's a really good product. You can visually watch it work um, as you're staring at it. So I really, I really like it. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the cover back on. We're ready to move on to the front air conditioner. Now this one is only a year old. I replaced it shortly after I got the RV. So it shouldn't be as bad, but let's see what it looks like after one year. All right, so this one's in a lot better shape. It only has some styrofoam on it. Again, I have no idea where all this styrofoam came from that was on the inside, but there's styrofoam on it. The coil looks pretty clean, and what's really nice is you can also see the fan right here is 
right there nice and exposed. The other one, in order to clean that fan, you gotta take it apart a lot deeper and it's just a big pain in the butt. So uh, I didn't do that for right now. We're gonna see how it does, but this is pretty nice if the fan's nice and exposed and you can just clean it right then and there. I did essentially the exact same process I did on the first one. I vacuumed it first, then I did some foam. I went ahead and brushed it clean, used some more foam, and then I got the uh, Clorox wipes and paper towels and I wiped everything down and did all that stuff. Then I went ahead and got everything cleaned up on the inside of the lid and put it all back together, snapped it all back together, buttoned it back all up, and that was basically it. That's it, let's go down inside and we're gonna clean the filters. I just took my uh, AC filter and the cover off and uh, I literally just rinsed it here in the sink with fresh water, got it nice and clean. These are both nice and clean now. Same thing with the one from the living room. This was just horribly caked and this thing was brown and there's that dust all over it and now they're nice and clean. Really easy to do just right here in your kitchen sink just spraying it off getting all the gunk off of it. Once that's done you can go and pop it back up and just let that air that's going to come up across the air conditioner is going to dry them out real fast. So we're going to do that now. I got this one popped back up here. As you can see, I got some uh, some binder clips here that hold this thing up because those clips broke a long time ago. So I just make shift a little MacGyver action there to hold this filter up. But that one's back up, nice and clean. So it's been a couple days. Uh, the coil came out, you know, pretty pretty darn nice compared to what it was. Still, obviously, a little bit of stuff on it, but it's really nice. But the fan still uh, is giving off a little bit of an odor, and it is really dirty. So. Uh, I went in and took the cover back off, I took the top plate off, and now we're going to go ahead and unmount the motor right here. Uh, every air conditioner is going to be a little bit different, so you know what your fan motor setup and this fan motor setup is going to be totally different unless you have the exact same Dometic model uh, right here. So I highly doubt you do, so you just got to kind of look up your specific model, or if you're mechanically inclined, you start taking things apart until you can figure it out. That's what I'm doing right now, so let's take a look. Like I said, I was just gonna take it apart until I figured it out, but I got it out. Um, it is super nasty. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it over to the hose down, down and uh, get it all cleaned out. Um, probably do, take some soap and water to it. Just make sure it's as clean as possible before I put it back in. Now that the fan's out, I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this up with some Clorox wipes. I took this downstairs and as you can see, it is brand spanking new, nice and easy to clean. Really, I just rinsed it off with a hose, and then I took uh, some spray bleach cleaner, let it soak on there for about a minute, and then rinsed it all off with some soap and water. So now we're gonna take my Clorox wipes and wipe off everything in there. Well, that was it. I just put everything back together, kind of opposite of how I took it apart. Uh, once I got everything back together, you know, just buttoned everything back up, came inside, turned it on, and now it smells so nice and clean. So it definitely was worth doing that little uh, extra. Now, again, if you're not mechanically inclined, if you don't know what you're doing, I do not recommend doing that. If you want to have your fan cleaned, hire a professional because that is a very difficult job if you don't know what you're doing. But if you do know what you're doing, if you're mechanically inclined, it's really not that difficult. You can get it done, but every AC is different. So mine's kind of just a guideline. So do that at your own risk. That's it for this week's video. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Or if you have any tips or tricks for other RVers, go ahead and put those in the comments as well. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye.